What is up, 7.3 fans? Welcome back to the 7.3 Garage. My name is Brandon, back here with the Tool Shades, as always. Uh, keeping it fresh down here in South Florida. Keep those sunnies on to keep that sun out of your eyes. We are out here with Cameron's truck. If you guys have not seen this truck, my last video, go ahead and check it out. So you're up to date with what's going on. We got some cool parts here today. We got Andrew here today helping us out. Andrew is a real life diesel mechanic. Yeah. He's all up in the sauce all the time. Frankie's actually at work. He should be here in a couple of hours. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of the parts and what we're gonna have going on today. This is gonna be the final series or second part of the uh, Super Duty mod. So I'm gonna show you guys, jump over to the workbench here, show you what parts we have, the fuel injector size. There's a cat. <laughs> and uh, we'll get started. So we'll show you guys what kind of parts we got. All right, everybody. Awesome set of parts here. Very, very excited about this. Shout out to KC Turbos and uh, Jelly Boat Performance. This is where we order all of our stuff from. Brian usually supplies all of the parts for us. He's a dealer of KC Turbos, full force diesel fuel injectors as well. So if you want some of those, I will have uh, his description uh, for his website and social media below so you guys can get your hands on some cool parts if that's what you're looking for to spruce up your 7.3. So this is the KC300X series turbocharger for the uh, Super Duty series trucks. Really, really nice product. This is the first KC Turbo that I've actually seen myself that's a complete drop-in turbo. But overall, the craftsmanship on this thing is awesome. It looks really, really nice, very clean. Uh, a couple features here that comes with this as well. This is the non-exhaust back pressure valve pedestal. So it, it uh, does, is lacking, well, they basically delete that solenoid that sits back or that's actuated with oil pressure to open and close that butterfly valve. Real nice piece of silicone here for the intake. And I'll show you guys back here real quick. We'll turn this turbo around. So this has the non-EBPV uh, rear housing on it as well. So you guys can see that's nice and open for some flow. Super excited to see how much boost this thing's make. This turbo is going to sound awesome on this truck. Uh, along with that as well, if you guys remember from the last video, this truck is basically all stock, stock exhaust. We just put an intake on it the other day. But we got some nice 4-inch MBRP exhaust, 4-inch downpipe. So very excited about that. That's kind of what we're working on today, but I'll get to that in just a moment. And the uh, cherry on top, we are going to be installing a set of 180 cc injectors with a stock nozzle from Full Force Diesel Performance. So the truck should run pretty awesome with this setup. Very excited. It's good for about 350 to 375 horsepower. And tonight I will have the chip, the hydro chip from Jelly Boat Performance that Brian tunes. And uh, we will get that on the truck. That should be the final part of our puzzle here but without further ado we are going to get started on cutting this exhaust out getting some odds and ends done here we're also going to try and get the turbo off we may just get it back in place today because it's a pretty easy part and it is going to be uh, not in our way when we do the uh, the fuel injectors but we do have to get the intercooler pipes off here's the intake this is an s and b intake this one on pretty nice the other day but definitely uh, helped out with the truck like i said this thing is basically stock for the most part so but very well taken care of so not too shy with the horsepower here, but uh, the truck should run very well. So we are gonna get started. All right, it's been quite some time here, but we have made some sick progress. We got Tim Woo! joining us. Tim joining us, something happened to his foot. So he's got that sick scooter. We're gonna get a little nitrous on that thing. <laughs> Here's the man himself. Frank, what are you doing over here, man? Tell us what we got going on. I know you guys have seen us working on stuff before, but this view should be pretty familiar for everybody. Yeah, right now we're just, you know, putting a bigger injector in there and, right, and uh, swapping out all the glow plugs too. Figure might yeah. as well do that while it's all taken apart. Yep, that's a good practice. Yeah, these glow plugs are, uh, the new ones are, are Motorcraft and they are, I believe they're 10 millimeter, but uh, they go in pretty easily. They come out pretty easily. Uh, what makes this process a little bit better is using like a telescoping magnet. Uh, helps get them out. Like once you get them loose all the way, use a telescoping magnet to try and get them out of there. Uh oh, that's an expensive piece of equipment there, but it looks like it works. Oh, Open that's, turbo. That's standard. Standard <laughs> issue. Still faster than it's coming. Look at this. <laughs> okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. She she she's a big girl, but she is pretty. She's got some nice bolt-on stuff on her. Mm-hmm. There she is. She's wicked. <laughs> Unreal. Uh, it's exhaust is done. Show you guys real quick here. Uh, four inch MBRP. We just got that all handled. Straight pipe. This is a crew cab long bed. So you guys can see this is uh, this is the biggest cab and bed combination you can get here. Told you some of the plans in the last video, but if you guys are just joining us for the first time, this is going to be 
uh, a flatbed truck eventually. I think he's gonna level it in the front, put some change of tires out on it, just some basic stuff, but nothing crazy. But the big things, the exhaust yeah, we just took care of, like I said, uh, the turbocharger and the fuel injectors along with Brian's tune. So we're gonna keep going here, making some progress, but uh, we're gonna clean up some of this stuff here. Oh, before we go, let's show you guys real quick. There's an air box we got out. All these parts we're gonna degrease and get all the clamps nice and ready to go back on the truck. So uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right, so as you see, we got some Ford guys trying to make a Ford fast, but really the only way to make a Ford fast is to drop a Cummins in it. We all know that. We all know that. Look at that. Comment below. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Comment below. Oh. Wait, seven three on his heart. Oh, here, real quick, while Tim's got the camera and Frankie's leaning over this stuff, Frankie's got the system down. You guys have seen this before. So these are 315,000 mile fuel injectors that actually look pretty good. Just your average wear. They have a little bit of, uh, you see some, some oil burning at the bottom of the injector tip there, but over, oh, leak a little fuel on the couch, no big deal. But overall, they, they do look pretty healthy. But this is just- That's uh, not oh, yeah. the only thing that leaks on that couch. <laughs> Oh, God almighty. Also, one God. thing I was just checking for too is yeah, this little copper O-ring. I was double checking to make sure that all of them came out with the old injectors. That way we don't double up on the copper O-ring. Yeah, that's important. Uh, if you guys, sure you guys have seen us do in the last, uh, the last video we did with, um, with Matt's truck with that OBS. But it's important to check and make sure you get those O-rings out because if you double those up, these injectors will not sit properly. You'll leak fuel and oil into the cylinder and you have a really high risk of hydrolock in the engine. So. That's not a good sight. You bend a rod in any one of these things, it's it's uh it's all coming out. So we try to avoid stuff like that, but that's not the only rod that gets bent around this part of town. Oh god, and I am so sweaty and just right. slimy right now, but he's you know, Learning grown men doing grown men things. They got we got bush light. <laughs> we got bush light working. You need to get a shot of your back. And get oh yeah, how bad is it? Here. Is it is it bad? Rolling around. I just I didn't even take time to blow the to blow all the dirt and the soot and uh it can't be good. It can't be good for me. Whatever. Right. Well, iron. It's just yeah. extra iron. Whenever, you, know. We, we, you know, we say the same thing working on airplanes and stuff. You get all that low leaded fuel. I mean, it gets all over you. It's got to be the worst thing in the world. Low lead fuel. That's probably why you don't get you don't get sick. Because you, get, you I, got I'm low lead fuel. Fine. I haven't had coronavirus yet. I haven't been sick yeah. at all. I do have. I do. I did just get a pretty bad laceration on the foot, but that that's already healing up just fine. <laughs> just fine. No problem. Yeah. So we're gonna keep going here with Frank, and um, uh, the chip actually just got a notification. The chip was a little bit behind schedule. That's at the at my house now, so that'll probably be going in tomorrow, and this thing should be ready to turn the key tomorrow. We're, uh, we're pretty excited. The next day here, guys, I uh, had to go to work last night, so had to get out of Frankie's house, but I want to give you a quick update as to where we're at here. Got the intercooler pipes, all the clamps, and all the boots we degreased, so these should be ready to rock and roll. Those are gonna be going back on the truck so pretty excited uh i did was able to get the new hydra installed with the jelly built tunes so that is all ready and tight and then finally uh frankie got the driver's side done last night after i left so that's all ready to go and we're just working on or myself frankie's uh so work it should be back here just in a little bit but have one more fuel injector the number two injector is going to be coming out uh there's our valve cover and gasket these injectors, I think you guys remember me saying, have 315,000 miles on them. So I think they are usually due for maintenance around 200,000. I can feel these O-rings are pretty hard. Uh, they should have a little bit more, uh, you know, a little more softness to them. But uh, overall, for the health of the engine and oil changes every 5,000, it really shows you that these things can last. So uh, we're doing our parts count as always. I know Frankie mentioned the, the copper gaskets yesterday and all the hardware. I got one more to get out and the last injector hold down bolt. And we'll be ready to get the new injectors in. We are draining this side uh, cylinder head with, I believe it's a, I think it's a 3 16 Allen head. So not much oil came out of there. The truck has been sitting off for two days now. So uh, the cylinder heads really don't have too much oil in them, but those will refill as we're going. We're also changing the glow plugs on that side. So I'm gonna keep going here. Uh, should be another 30, 45 minutes, and then we'll be ready to get these new injectors in and turn the key for the first time in a couple days here. So we'll uh, we'll get to that. Got the truck running. We were actually uh, doing a quick driver swap. I just drove it down the road real fast. So we just switched it out for Cam to drive. This thing sounds awesome. Looks awesome. Woo! Makes some pretty good power. Oh, yeah. Hit me with another one. 
It's the old farm truck daily, no big deal. Look at Frank in the back. Woo! All right. Doing it, gentlemen. So, she's running pretty good. Uh, we had a couple decisions. We had to change some things up with the turbocharger. So, uh, we're going to get that handled. Not a big deal. Uh, just a few things we're going to handle here. But uh, other than that, the truck runs really good. Very happy with it. Uh, Cam likes it, which is, which is really what matters the most. So, we're just driving her around here, just uh, seeing how she does. But, um, that's about it. We're heading back to Frankie's house now. Let him get a little bit of wheel time and then uh, do a little close out with you guys and go over some other things with the truck. All right, we're back at Frank's house. Cam loves the way the truck drives. It's super awesome. A little bit bummed we don't have the uh, the turbo that we want in here. Um, Cam had a last minute decision, so not a big deal. Reach out to KC Turbos. They're gonna handle it. So we're gonna get the turbo that he, he purchased. We're gonna get it back to them and uh, just do a couple little changes with that. But we should have that on the next week or so. Uh, it shouldn't be too big of a deal, but I just want to give you guys a little walk around to hear how she sounds. Get you a little turbo sound out the back. Exhaust out the back with the high idle, man. With the turbo whistle, it sounds so good. <laughs> it's moving a lot of heat too. You really feel it, dude. That's awesome. Man. It looks good. We don't have any leaks. You guys, you guys have seen this. Yeah, this is the SMB intake we got on the truck, but everything's doing pretty good. Should run pretty good with the, with the new turbo. Uh, I know we talked about it a little bit, but with the, these, these 180 cc injectors will really, really shine with the new turbo. And uh, obviously it's coming from KC, like you guys have heard me say before. So pretty excited with that. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out, some people don't really know, but the truck does sound a little bit louder. The reason being is the Super Duty turbos come with a split shot fuel injector. They did that for an emissions reason. If anybody has any other knowledge about it, go ahead and put it in the comment section below just to, uh, kind of help uh, other people out as well and myself included uh, so now it goes from a split shot to a single shot fuel injector so every time the injector fires it's a single squirt of fuel uh, so that's why they idle a little bit louder than uh, than a, a stock super dude that just has tunes on it but just wanted to point that out nice little piece of information for you guys that's all we have for this one guys uh, I will be doing a video of the install and update with this truck we get a little uh, a little review from from Cameron after he's been driving the truck for a little bit. So we should have it for about a week before we have the new turbocharger uh, here at Frankie's or my place and we can get it in. So we'll just be waiting on that. Uh, doing a little bit of cleanup here with Frank. Frank likes it. It's only uh, teasing him more and more for uh, some I stuff know. for his yeah. truck. <laughs> we're waiting though. We're waiting till uh, we're gonna go big on my truck. So it'll be a good video. So far yeah. be another at least year. year. That maybe be uh, that might be a fifty thousand follower series maybe. Yeah. We have hit ten thousand subscribers, so that is awesome. Thank you guys for that as well. I wanted to throw that out there and mention that. Uh, so keep it up. We have great content coming up for you guys. Very excited for uh, what we have for the rest of the year here. Uh, that's all that I have, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Brandon. This is the Seven Three Garage. There's Frankie. We'll see you next time.